Welcome to Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with today's main news stories from Paphos. Works officially started on the road from Birgos Tilleria's crossing to Nicosia on Monday, following a ceremony attended by leaders from both sides of the Green Line. Greek Cypriot and Turkish Cypriot companies are collaborating on the multi-million euro works. The crossing has been shut for more than 45 years. The opening is expected to reduce travel time from the area to Nicosia. The Red Arrows, the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, has been banned from staging an air show in Paphos in May. Paphos Municipality granted permission for the team to perform locally on May 23rd, after a ban of several years. But in a U-turn decision made on Monday, the council decided not to issue a license for the show because of Green Party threats to stage a protest over the event, which would coincide with the Gataclismos celebrations. The Green Party described the show as a silly colonial event that would damage the environment. On Sunday, a Paphos singer and voice coach held a unique charity event aimed at raising money for victims of human trafficking. Catherine Robson of Viva Voce Singing Studios in Paphos held a singathon for Stigma, the only NGO in Cyprus that liaises exclusively with victims of sexual trafficking. Stigma needs money to pay for its running costs. It has a, an office in Limassol, so rents, utilities, etc. It also needs money for the daily living expenses of the women that it helps. The singer received sponsorship for 43 songs, which she sang and recorded over nine hours. And a rare white wallaby was revealed to the public in Paphos on Tuesday, the second born in the Paphos bird park within the year. The tiny marsupial, which is just 30 centimetres long and weighs 300 grams, was born two months ago. Park handlers expect to know the gender of the tiny animal in a month and a half. Police News Now, a 20-year-old man was remanded in custody for one day after opening fire on a pub in Chlorica last night with a hunting gun after the owner asked him to leave. One man sustained a slight hand injury in the incident. Police are investigating. And traffic police handed out Easter candles to motorists today in a gesture aimed at reminding them to drive carefully over the holiday. Finally, women in the arts will be showcasing their work at a first-of-a-kind event being held in Paphos tomorrow. Thirteen female artists from around Cyprus are exhibiting paintings, mosaics and silkwork at the Female Artist Expo. The Female Artist Expo takes place from noon until 8pm at the Almira Hotel in Paphos. Entry is free. Well, that's all for this week's News Roundup. Owing to the Easter holiday, there will be no print news on Monday. We'll be back on Tuesday with the latest news. Stay online for details about Easter events taking place in Paphos District. That's next on our playlist. From all of us here at Lynn TV, have a pleasant Easter.